Hello Internet. Welcome to UIDSTML channel. Myself Gautam has brought a new CSS property that is column property. This column property gives you the facility to arrange images, your images into a gallery which has different sizes. And these images can be listed into a columns and it will give you the facility to arrange your images into different order. It doesn't, it, it doesn't matter how, uh, what the width, width of your image and what the height of image is. So I think this will amaze you and this will give you, uh, th by using this you will feel very happy to arrange, in arranging the images onto your site. So let's get back to the example. So we have a new example of CSS column and this image gallery we have got by CSS column property and see how the pictures are arranged into four columns and how they are separated with each other and we have uneven heights height of the images see this is very long this is quite short and comparatively this is in medium state and how beautifully it has arranged so CSS is given as the property CSS column and column gap and column count where we can get such of such type of image gallery with only single line of code so let's jump into css column property so we have this uh html structure where i have linked two css file that is default and one css type and default is the just basic font size as color and these kind of thing that you already know and we have some CSS although I've removed the the column CSS from this style sheet so and we have uh, h1 p n all the images are into one container and all the CSS of column CSS will be applied to this container only although I've not saved that CSS because after removing the uh, CSS style Let's save it and see the effect what I will get in browser. All the images will come one after another. So this is how the uh, you know default state of gallery is. So let's add column property uh, to this uh, this container. Only one line that is column count four. So it will automatically convert that in convert that display of image into columns see it will take automatically some gutter spaces and uh, uh, this spaces are given into the images that is uh, 20 pixel margin if you will remove this one you will all the images into the column will get uh, stick to one another and but the column will have some gap automatically it's a predefined you can increase the or decrease the gap just by a giving column gap column gap and by this column gap uh, gives 30 pixel if you give 30 pixel it will automatically it will it will auto automatically take the 30 uh, pixel of gap but it has some default value that is 10 to 15 pixel it takes that default so uh, and uh, it is responsive as well. Uh, let's ba get back to the 20 pixel of margin and the image and gap of column gap of 20 pixel. Okay, so it looks nice. You can uh, you can make it responsive. Although it is not responsive now, let me add the responsive CSS. This is very easy to add the column count to the breakpoints. So I've added media screen max width 10224 pixel where in the container uh, class I've added three columns similarly goes with the 640 pixel I've added two columns and when it reaches to 375 it becomes single it comes in single columns column and after saving to this one you will get the same let's uh, make it responsive then okay let's drag this slider yeah down down see now it is in three column and just move a bit more and see it becomes in the two column and if you will go extreme to the left it will come into the single column so this is very 
good way to represent the image gallery into columns and and layout also gives a effect beautiful effect so I think you got the answer and you can represent your image gallery in such a way so if you like this video then kindly give a thumbs up to this example and if you if you have not subscribed this channel please subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so that you cannot miss any video and this video of UID HTML and till then let's meet to the next video till then thank you so much bye bye